Good Monday morning, Glads. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this is your KWHS News. Seniors, the countdown is on. You're so close to getting out of this place, but first, be sure to take care of any conditions and fees this week. It'll make your out-processing much easier and smoother. This is not the time to procrastinate. Waiting until the last minute means waiting even more in a long line to get you checked out. Take care of these fees now, and turn in your checkout list so you can be free sooner. Remember, to return all your library materials, pay your lunch fees, and see Ms. Grandizio in the business office to clear any other fees and conditions. Underclassmen, we also want to get a head start on clearing conditions and fees before the end of the year so we can get our grades on time and get the summer started. The deadline to return library materials is this Thursday, May 10th. See Mrs. Grandizio to get your conditions and fees paid early and avoid the long lines on the last day. Students, if you want a locker next year, see your advisory teacher to sign up. You must have a partner, so put both names on the sign-up sheet. When August rolls around and you find that you do need a locker, see Ms. Price in the main office and she'll help you out. And Speaking of lockers, all lockers will need to be cleaned and signed off before you leave in May. Seniors, bring in a box or bag to take your stuff home, or better yet, recycle it. The Environmental Club will take your new or gently used pens, pencils, binders, and notes. See Mr. Cummings in room 204 to drop off your school supplies. And now, let's head to the cafeteria and see what Miss Betsy has cooking for lunch. Happy Monday, everybody. I hope you had a great and restful weekend. I have Mr. Bergen here to let you know what we're having for lunch today. Hi, today, Monday, chicken sandwich. Yay, and how about Tuesday? Burrito. Oh, does that burrito have beef, bean, and cheese in it? Yes, that burrito has beef, beans, and cheese in it. Well, great, and one quick reminder for seniors, if you have a balance on your account and would like to have that money back, you need to come and see me. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye. Thanks, Ms. Betsy. Students, just like conditions and fees, if you owe money in the cafeteria, you should clear this too before graduation or final exams. Glads, want a chance to earn some volunteer hours and help our community? FCCLA will have a road cleanup tomorrow, May 8th, after school from 3 to 4.30 p.m. See Ms. Ship in room 202 or Ms. Tuji in room 163. Seniors, listen up. Mark your calendars with the following important dates. May 14th, Senior Finals for Periods 5, 6, and 7. May 15th, Senior Finals for Periods 1, 2, 3, and 4. May 16th, Senior Awards Night at 6 p.m. in the WHS Auditorium. May 17th, Senior Breakfast at the Shiny Mountain Resort at 7.15. Tickets are $22 in the business office. You cannot buy them at the door. Do you have goosebumps yet? We do. May 18th, Mandatory Graduation Practice at noon in Bowers Gym. Don't miss it. And of course, Saturday, May 19th is your big day. Showtime is 7.30 in the small gym. Please be on time and ensure your family members have their tickets. Seniors, here's one more event you need to know about. The Senior Sunset will take place at Barnstormers Park on May 11th at 6 p.m. Join 2018 graduates for some games and s'mores and one last opportunity to get together. When we come back, we'll have information for other events happening this week. But first, here's Moose Santos with our Gladiator Sports update. It's Monday morning, Glads, and I'm Moose Santos with your Gladiator Sports Update. Our men's basketball coach, Coach Johnson, started open gyms for basketball last week. They happened every Tuesday and Thursday in Bowers Gym from 6 to 8 p.m. If you're interested in joining the team, you should stop by to sharpen your skills. Hey ladies, Volleyball Open Gym will run until May 16th from 3.15 to 4.15. Starting on June 5th, times and days will change to Tuesdays and Thursdays from 8 to 10 a.m. in Bowers. Check in with Miss Lacey in room 105 for details and information. Gentlemen interested in playing tennis next fall, Mr. Portugal is having an informational meeting in room 122 in the science hallway at lunch this Wednesday, May 9th. No prior experience is required. Come hear how the team is going to prepare for a successful 2018 season. If you cannot attend, see Coach Portugal for details. And speaking of tennis, our Lady Glad's tennis team competed this weekend at regionals at Cheyenne Mountain High School. They did well and several girls are moving to the next level. We'd like to wish them good luck and some strong strokes. Our boys swim and dive team is headed up to league championships this week. We wish them good luck, warm waters, and fast times. The boys baseball team celebrated Cinco de Mayo by beating the Mitchell Marauders on Saturday. The track team returned from their meets over the weekend and brought back some impressive hardware. Stay tuned this Friday for Doc's health tip of the week when she'll talk to us 
us about how to handle final stress. That's it for our Gladiator Sports Update. Good luck to all our athletes this week. I'm Moose Santos. Now back to you, Corinne and Jeremiah. Thanks, Moose. Glats, if you're struggling with a class, paper, or have a big test coming up, check out the Thursday tutoring sessions brought to you by NHS. Stop by the Media Center to pick up your pass on Thursday morning, then come back during advisory for your session. Computers will be available for you. Glads, this Friday is yearbook distribution day. You can still buy your yearbook for $65, but if you wait until Friday, May 11th, books will be $70 cash only. Seniors, if you haven't purchased your yearbook, you can get this year's book plus one other book from your freshman, sophomore, or junior year for only $80. It's a pretty sweet deal, and you should totally see Ms. Mrs. Grandizio in the business office to buy your book today. Students, if you dropped the ball on your courses this semester, you can still make up the credits to get back on track. Register by May 31st to begin your credit recovery classes on June 4th. You can take up to two classes for $100 each. See your counselor for details and go online to register. Student cabinet elections are coming up. If you are interested in running for student cabinet or class council, pick up a petition from Ms. Melton in room 103. Petitions are due this Wednesday, May 9th. See Ms. Melton for details and additional information. If you are 17 years or older and are looking for a job this summer, the Penrose and Sand Creek Libraries are holding a part-time job fair this Wednesday, May 9th, and Thursday, May 10th. See Mr. Washington in room 115 for additional information. And finally, GLADS. The end of the school year is a tough time for many students, and saying those goodbyes can mess with the strongest of us. We want you to know that you are not alone, but more importantly, we want you to know that there is someone here to help you. Here's our reminder of a resource available to us all now and over the summer. Wedgefield High School is now serving as the pilot school for a new confidential hotline for teens called Below the Surface Texting Service. This service is a mental health campaign for any student that is struggling mentally or physically. This hotline provides a professional counselor you can talk to. They provide help 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Text the word TALK to 38255 to speak to a counselor today. Remember to text TALK to 38255 and someone will be there for you. Glads, we also wanted to let you know that May is Mental Health Awareness Month and this Thursday, May 10th, is Mental Health Awareness Day. To bring awareness to and help break the stigma of mental health issues, please wear green on Thursday. The National Alliance on Mental Illness selected hashtag cure stigma as this year's theme. We hope you join in on Thursday by wearing green. Remember, you are not alone. We all struggle sometimes, but help is just a short text away to keep our mental health strong and safe over the summer months. That's all for our news today. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this is your KWHS News. Have a great week.